Good evening, friends. Happy Monday. Uh, I am home from work, do little chores, got some dinner started. Steve's home right now. Uh, I will not show you Steven because he's lounging in his skivvies because it was a bajillion degrees today. And so I'm sure he had a miserable day delivering Amazon packages, but he's home, we're home. And I'm gonna show you the stuff we got. Okay, the cats are like hardcore in it right now. I'm gonna show you the stuff we got at Gem City Con. And I have to lead with this because otherwise Dooku is probably gonna eat it. So um, Con Hall coming at you, plus like a little bit of extra stuff at the end. The first thing <laughs> I got was this headband. Um, this is actually a promotion for a book. It's called The Underfoot, but they made these little headbands. This is one of those situations where it's like, would it cost more for me to buy it right now or would it cost more for me to make it? and uh, it would cost more for me to make it for sure. So I got these little Ewok ears, they're so cute. I love them, so uh, I'm gonna have to build an Ewok cosplay, but Dooku is all about these, so I have to wear them, and I'm hoping now that I have them on, he does not try to attack my head while I'm filming <laughs> this video. So everybody say a little prayer for me, all right? Next thing, we'll just kind of keep it in the Star Wars family. Even though this is like not official Star Wars, I got it for Star Wars purposes. I picked up this shirt. I'm gonna try to wear it to work because I'm allowed to wear uh, beer shirts. And this definitely has the Guinness logo on it, but it's Alec Guinness, the actor that plays Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I thought this was so fun and so funny and uh, looks really comfortable. It's a bit oversized. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get away with wearing this to work. Hopefully my boss isn't watching right now. Next thing I got, if you follow me on Instagram at dresses underscore, you would have seen. Oh, okay, we have moved on to my scrunchie. We're gonna have to do one of these. The ears are safe, but now he's all about the scrunchie. Dooku, come here. This little scamp right here is the reason I can't get any of this stuff done and I can't have nice things. Come on, Dookie. You got nothing to say? He's actually the sweetest cat in the world, but he's just, he's into my stuff right now. Okay, be gone with you. Right, but yeah, I did post this on my Instagram. This is from artist Aaron Lindemann and it is an original piece, not a print, of Jamie Lee Curtis from the more recent Halloween movies. And I really like the art style of this. I also thought it was really cool, like they were selling their original works for so cheap because a lot of the time artists, and if, you, if you're an artist, charge whatever you want. Like that's not, I'm not shaming anyone that has expensive stuff, but most of the time originals are more expensive. And now the tripod is a toy. Love, I can't win over here. You gotta distract him. But this was very, very affordable. And I really love it. I love a final girl. We'll talk about that in a minute. And so I needed this Lori in my life. And the other print that I saw and I was like, oh, gotta have it. Doug McUgly is the artist of this one. And it is Death Before Dementors. If you guys know, what this is from, please leave a comment before I continue. Have you done it yet? Okay, this is Prison Mike from The Office. So this is checking off a lot of boxes for me right now because this is like Prison Mike from The Office, but it's also like the Dementor reference. So it's like Harry Potter and The Office. And then it has like little, I know they're supposed to be Dementors, but they're more like kind of ghosty looking. And I just really like the art style of this. Yeah, checks a lot of boxes. This was the one print that I saw the whole con that I was like, yep, have my money. I need this. I love this so freaking much. Oh, I bought more prints. <laughs> TV, why didn't you stop me? Hi, I'm a liar because I just found three more prints that I bought. This is from <laughs> artist Holly Denham. It had a little like three for a special. So I got this one. It's like a little ghost, not necessarily like fandom. I just thought this was very pretty. Probably gonna put this in our bedroom. Pux, could you not? Troublemaker. Number two, and I picked up this little Mr. DNA from Jurassic Park. I thought this was so cute. And then I have never at a convention seen anything The Page Master, and I loved that movie when I was a kid. And so um, if you if you guys remember, or if you've seen The Page Master, tell me if you have in the comments, because I feel like that's not a movie a lot of people talk about, but she did horror from The Page Master. So freaking cute. So Holly Denham, check her out. She did a lot of cool stuff. And she also, um, two little stickers you could get for free. So I got this little Ghoul Squad sticker from her. All right, and that it actually is it for the prints. We did get three movie posters. I don't want to take them out of the wrapping quite yet. These are all for the video store and they're very like safely nestled in here and I don't really want to mess that up. We did pick up a Jaws movie poster. 
a Halloween movie poster, OG Halloween, and then a Friday the 13th movie poster. And these I think were the best price I've ever seen for movie posters. So we had to get multiple. They're gonna look so good in our video store when we finally get that going, when there's less stuff going on and the weather's bad, you guys understand. But those will be great pieces, great display pieces for the video store. And I think the only other thing I bought was a gift for Stevie. And if you did watch the vlog, you would have seen, I got him this little Happy Hogan pop because that is who he cosplayed at Gem City. And was this your first con cosplaying? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And so many people stopped Steve and were like, oh my gosh, are you Happy Hogan? I haven't seen anybody be Happy Hogan. And people wanted this picture and stuff. It was so sweet to watch. And it was just I like kind of a precious little memory. So he has something to commemorate his first time out as Happy Hogan. He needed this in his life. So that's it for what came from the convention. Uh, I do have a couple little odds and ends I can just throw in at the end here because I think this is going to be a short video. Our friend Jen is always finding us incredible stuff at Goodwill and she came through again uh, for our Star Wars bathroom. She found us this R2-D2. Now um, I'm pretty sure he has like a remote control that's supposed to come with him so if anybody like I guess thrifts a random R2-D2 remote control please tell me but when you turn him on he makes this very adorable noise. <laughs> So stinking cute. Thank you, Jen. Always looking out for us. And then I did mention that I've been looking for these mummy hands at Old Time Pottery. <laughs> I just realized in the shot, it looks like I'm holding this like person's hand off camera. That's kind of amazing. But these are the hands I am referring to. So let me take this off. Lights washing it out a bit. Here we go. They're candle holders, but you can really put whatever you want on top. And they're just mummy hands. And uh, this is going to be a year round situation for us. I love these, they were inexpensive. And now I don't have to stock old time pottery so much because I found the thing that I wanted. Love when that happens. Still searching at home for cauldrons. And then the last thing I wanna mention is that um, I did finish the final girl support group literally right before I started this video. And I loved this book so much. I am so happy I already that I bought another Grady Hendrix book. Um, I'm not reading it quite next, but the one after is uh, that's definitely on the list. I want everything he wrote after this. I loved this. It wasn't scary, scary at all. It wasn't really scary at all. It did have like some gruesome moments. He writes women very well, which is honestly kind of surprising, especially for like horror genre, just in my experience. Um, men don't always do the most incredible job, generally speaking, of uh, getting women in horror. So I was really impressed with that. I loved this book. If you uh, have the means and you're a reader, check it out. Please, I want to talk about it. Someone read this so we can talk about it. So that's going to do it for today's haul. I have dinner to make. I got to find somewhere to hide my little Ewok ears so Dooku doesn't completely destroy them before I even get the opportunity to use them. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite item. I feel like this is very um, kind of all over the place. There's some Star Wars, there's some horror, there's some Office Harry Potter hybrids. We didn't get anything. Oh no, we did get something Marvel. The pop. I was going to say that would have been a crime. We were all marbled out for us to not get anything Marvel, but happy. We got happy with a big check. Thank you guys for watching. Steve is right here. You want to tell him to subscribe and do the things? Yeah, but you do it so much better. Go ahead and hit subscribe, <laughs> thumbs up, ring the bell, ding ding, comment to help the algorithm. Ring the bell, ding ding. <laughs> All right, love you guys. See you tomorrow.